Tomorrow night, a certified TSA official will be at the Santa Fe High School prom to oversee student searches. Heather Mills is live in the newsroom with why a federal court ordered the district to make these changes. Heather? Well, this all comes after two Capitol High School students, sisters, filed a lawsuit saying they were groped by a security agent at Capitol High School's prom last month. Today, the court ordered Santa Fe Public Schools and the security company ASI to provide at least one TSA certified person at the Santa Fe High School prom and the Capitol High School graduation. The restraining order also spells out the specific ways that security can perform searches. It says a pat down is only to be used if there is reasonable ground and that pat down should not be used as a first approach for every student. We talked to one of the sisters suing the district earlier this week. She had grabbed my breast and then grabbed the inner part of my bra and shook it. And then she uh, picked up the front of my dress to like mid thigh and she was patting down my bare leg. Capitol's principal told us she was standing right there when the students were searched and doesn't remember any students complaining about the pat downs. Meanwhile, Santa Fe Public School says it is happy to comply with the federal court's decision saying student safety is their first priority. Live in the newsroom, Heather Mills. This is America. Heil. This is Global Government News. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part two of this news bulletin, everyone. My website, www.ggnonline.com, ggnonline.com, and ddarko2012 on YouTube. I'm going to keep moving here. Queens uh, lawmaker proposes panic button for hotel housekeepers. New York Assemblyman says he wants to the state to require hotels to provide their housekeepers with an emergency panic button that would help protect them from sexual assaults on the job. So... And uh, they're talking about this, and he hasn't even been charged for it yet. Disney's new Star Wars uh, attraction to use thermal body scans for riders. So see, these things are sneaking into everywhere. I already talked about that a while back, about how they eventually be, what, body scanners in schools. So there you go. And I thought it was kind of ironic that TSA would become, uh, uh, would uh, all of a sudden come in to be asked to come into a high school to help um, with a problem with you know their original security and groping when TSA themselves are basically molesting eight month year olds infants I mean it's out of control there's no reason for it right so I, it's just insane <laughs> Uh, that, that they would do that, but that's how it all happens. And like that stupid principal said, well, I didn't see anybody complain. Well, they can't complain. They're just what? They're just kids. 
They don't have any say, <laughs> you know. EFF demands answers about secret surveillance law memo, Justice Department withholding information on controversial legal theory. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, has filed a freedom of information suit against the DOJ demanding the release of a secret legal memo used to justify FBI access to Americans' telephone records without any legal process or oversight. So check that out. Toyota trying to make cars part of your social network. And it says here, uh, Toyota, Salesforce.com, and Microsoft are funding a project to create a social networking service so drivers can interact with their cars in similar ways to Twitter and Facebook. The AP reports IBM, IBM Watson supercomputer turns to medicine. So we have after battling the flesh and blood knows it all, know it alls on Jeopardy, IBM supercomputer Watson is getting ready for its next big challenge, helping doctors navigate the increasingly complex world of medicine. So he's being groomed uh, to be a bedside medical tool, digesting medical textbooks, journals, treatment guidelines, as well as information from uh, patients, blogs to diagnose illness quickly and accurately. And I just watched the old Star Trek uh, episode last night where uh, the court martial episode where Captain Kirk is uh, being tried uh, basically by what? Yeah, by a, by a council, whatever, but uh, by a computer. So that's the future. U.S. government starts a new round of pirate domain seizures. Oh, yeah, and just remember, uh, in that episode, too, what was the big deal towards the end? Was that, what, Spock beat the computer at chess five times after he programmed it to not be able to, you know, basically to be able to have a stalemate every time. So the computer malfunctioned. So that's my point. U.S. government starts new round of pirate domain seizures. And, of course, who's legally liable when a computer messes up and leaves a sponge in a, in a person's stomach, right? Uh, I don't know, a company? And it's a company. It's a corporation. It has no liability. You see what I'm getting at here? It's total eugenics. Facebook and Google join forces to oppose privacy bill. Well, that makes sense. They don't. <laughs> respect privacy is just the way it goes. UK, I mean, I, even Sh uh, Schmidt, the ex CEO, or the CEO of uh, Google, is even admitting that that you know there is no real privacy in the digital age, and that we need an internet license to get rid of the bad guys. UK paper calls Press TV enemy within some British right wing media, including a pro Zionist newspaper, plan to uh, aid Ofcom. Uh, to mount pressure on Press TV in line with the UK government's measures against the Iranian English language news channel. I like Press TV. They have uh, plenty of good articles on there. Mobile wallet offered to UK shoppers. The first service that allows users to pay for purchases via their mobile phone has been launched in the UK. Of course, what comes next? I think most of you know what. The little RFID chip in your wrist. And you just swipe your hand like a good little robot slave. Coalition builds new national. And remember, they would have done that already. You know, uh, again with the Star Trek uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, tie-in here, they were carrying those little phones. You know, they were carrying those little tiny phones. I mean, the technology was there in the 80s when they had those big old phones. They only did that because they were conditioning. They didn't want to freak people out. You know, they could have had little computers, you know, the size of uh, little laptops now back then, but they didn't. They didn't want to scare people and frighten them. I mean, that's basically the reality of it. You know, we would have had this a long time ago. But, uh, you know, the, IR, the RFID chip in our, in our wrists and swiping it, but they know back then that people were more free and they were more individualistic and more sovereign, so they would not go for that shit. Coalition, pardon my French for young viewers there, uh, Coalition builds new national identity system. The Coalition has quietly begun work on a new national identity system less than a year after it scrapped a labor's derided ID cards. Prototype of the new system is due in place. As soon as October this year, it will aim to uh, re reliably identify users of government websites Ooh, as part of its plans to deliver more public services via the web. 30,000 Twitter users could face legal action over gag breaches. The attempt to use super injunctions to gag the media and the Internet age reached new levels of absurdity yesterday. Scottish newspaper became the first mainstream British publication to identify the Premier League footballer who's attempting to prevent discussion on Twitter about his affair with former Big Brother star. And that's the thing, um, like with this Strauss Khan, you know, for whatever, for whatever it's worth, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess you could say he's a public figure, but then there's other people too. Uh, I think they deserve their own privacy. I don't want to hear about certain things, you know. I, you know, it's, uh, I hear about these things. Uh, what was the most recent one? 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's it. Now they're saying he's got two more love children. It's just like, dude, I don't care. That's the man's privacy. You know, I don't want to know that. And they just put it out there. And then like Ashton Kutcher, ooh, he's getting paid less than Charlie Sheen. I don't give a crap. That's Ashton Kutcher's business. That's Ashton Kutcher and Charlie Sheen's privacy. I don't want to know how much they're getting paid. You know, and I'm just kind of sick of them just putting that out there for the plebs to digest. There's more important things to talk about, let alone be uh, encroaching in people's personal lives. Um, so we're going to move on here. I don't know if you agree with me, but that's just my opinion. Cat owners to be forced to microchip their pets to stop them killing animals. And it says here, cat owners will be forced to microchip their animals, pay compulsory registration fees, and stop their pets from wandering the suburbs and propose government crackdown. In other words, they're going to have to leash them. So um, that's the brave new world that we're moving into, having your little outdoor cats uh, moseying around and coming back then to eat. You know, under this new green uh, environment, green economy, and all these eco-fascists, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to do that. Ohio mom gets life term in baby's microwave death. And then we have stink bug spread worries growers across the nation. And, uh, of course, it came from Asia, just like the, uh, what is it, the, Asian beetle, and then you have the uh, all this other stuff, the Asian carp. I mean, why does all this stuff come from Asia? Are they trying to tell us something, or is it just the eugenicists releasing things into our environment, or, or is the environment adapting or evolving? Um, I guess you can say it's evolving artificially due to all the chemicals that they're spraying us with. I have, I have a feeling that that spraying, we're not going to see the actual results for years to come. We may see it, but we're not going to be told officially from the authority figures of what the damages were. Uh, but I have a feeling it, it, it's wreaking havoc on trees and all kinds of plants and, and, and tiny insects and that and fish and wildlife. So it's here, Dominican Republic's uh, capital on alert for cholera. And like I said, you got whooping cough, cholera, measles, uh, all these uh, old school uh, uh, plagues and, 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 and viruses and um, that basically all of a sudden emerging. And uh, my theory is, is... It's due to uh, basically malnutrition. People aren't eating because they're inflation, rising food prices, and they just can't afford it. They're starving, and that's what happens. Your immune system shuts down, and you get sick. But they're blaming it on, oh, oh not enough vaccinations. It says here, Bulgaria's black market in blood is flourishing. And then we have hospitals not coping with lift and donor organs. And, of course, you have the rich right now, uh, or actually the poor a lot in South America, so poor that they're giving up their organs in order to keep living, in order to get food. I mean, it's insane. This is totally a tip-top, you know, uh, you know um, polar opposite rich and poor world now. And this is exactly how the powers that be want it. Australian soldiers HIV scared once again. Taking care of the veterans, Australian soldiers have reportedly been exposed to HIV and hepatitis as their staff at a major defense near Dubai failed to properly sterilize this uh, surgical equipment. I'm sure that's a mistake, right? They don't want to pay out benefits or anything to these guys who serve their country. Killer David Wyatt told to relax and take a shower just hours before a psychotic rampage. He says he was told to have a shower and a drink and relax, and then he shot himself. Why emergency rooms are disappearing across America over the past 20 years? Said visits have steadily risen over the same period, causing backlogs and remaining ERs. They leave patients waiting sometimes for hours. Texas politicians do agency hid the amount of radiation in drinking water. Of course, they don't give a crap, dude. Toxic pesticides. I mean, they're putting fluoride and chloride and, you know, all the other stuff that's in there, statins and prescription drugs that they don't filter out. I mean, why would they give a crap about radiation in the water? Come on. Toxic pesticides from genetically modified food crops found in unborn babies and then we have u.s emits dumping dangerous chemicals in south korea no doubt humans causing global warming okay well i doubt it it's a false theory australia climate commission says warming risk is real weather disasters in poorest nations have trebled since the 1980s and of course they've been spraying even back then a city prepares for a warm long-term forecasting that right now the Windy City is preparing for a heat wave, a permanent one. And you want to know my theory? Well, I don't know. Maybe it has to do with the, uh, uh, the North Pole, the magnetic north changing. I don't know. Or it could be what? Again, chemtrails. All this spraying that they're doing is actually causing it to get warmer. Whenever they spray, just pay attention how warmer it gets, how much warmer it gets. Please join me in the next part. This is GGN and I'm Darko.